Hello, this is Trump with Trump Tells the Truth. Welcome to the age of the super rich. Yes, super rich. If you're rich, you want to get richer. Even richer. There's no way, no pocket, who can be filled with more money. You just need more, 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 more. We thought that time was over. But the time is not over. You always think that death can keep you going, and we're going, and we're going, and the super rich will only get super richer. There's no way, no way in the world you can stop the people, you can stop yourself from getting even more. And the people you can pacify with entertainment, religion, and all kinds of bullshit. Yeah, that has also tried before, but the super wealthy, rich, and the greedy always done the same mistake again and again and again the people will always find some way to kick you in the balls and then when that happened yeah but maybe people a lot of people call me a communist now but this have happened before in france in 1789 the people stood up the revolution came well it was knocked down later but it started why it started because which people sometimes get paranoid. The rich people start to argue within each other and then they try to get the poor on board with them so they can get richer again. But then the poor find out, hmm, let's kick them in the fucking nuts. There's one thing more. When the only thing who's keeping you alive is money, if the money is the only value in society, then my money is the only thing who's going to keep you alive. It's only, and some people, the purpose of they getting money, yes, I think you get the drift. Many years ago, I worked at the Greek Hall when some rich people wanted to do something and he was like, money talks, money talks. Yes, of course, I said back, money talks because I get paid. If you didn't pay me, I wouldn't do it. That is the fact. So if you pay people less and less, why people are starving, why people just quitting the jobs because the wage is too low anyways, why not should give a fuck? Then you should be worried. People quitting the jobs, silent quitting, well, they'd rather live shitty poor with no job than working poor with shitty lives. They, they will be able to manage with less but at least they have a life. A better with a poor life than no life. But they will come the day they don't give a fuck about you. Well, if you don't give a shit about them, why can't they steal from you? Why can't they, uh, I mean, they can steal from you and get away with it? Why can't they just fucking cut your head off? Because a revolution have happened before and will happen again. And it always happens because of greed, not ideology. Most people who did Revolution 1917 in Russia, they didn't know a shit about communism. They just needed, they wanted to have something that they didn't have. They wanted to get more welfare. They wanted to eat. Yes. And that's gonna start a revolution again. Then they come to a point where they didn't care about the religion. They didn't care about anything really because they get nothing to lose. So, there you got that one. You can always use Fox News and all the shitty channels you got conservatives to talk in like religion was back, prayers come back in school, but it will not help you. It's like pissing in the pants to keep it warm. Because now, you, the respect for you is gone. You're not worth all job creators. You're not successful businessmen. You're just greedy fucking asshole who one day gonna get your head cut off. This was Tron, we tried to tell the truth.